Hi, welcome to our Accounts Payable Import uh, for Excel. Uh, this is an add-in for Dynamics GP. Um, and we're going to uh, start by going into GP uh, and, the purchase, and the purchasing side. And you can get to the transaction entry menu any way you wish, that any which way uh, standard GP allows you. Um, Prior to that, I'm going to go and check the batches that we have because we're going to be importing different ba importing a batch. We have only four currently. I'm going to close this. I'm going to my payables transaction entry screen, and uh, once your add-in has been installed, you will see that AP import menu selection uh, from uh, the additional menu. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And you get a window that if those of you that have used our Excel import, you will, this will be familiar. It's a fairly standard window for us. Uh, we have only one Excel format, and then we're going to select the Excel file. Uh, it's a standard file with a standard number of columns. This shows the path. You can uh, use the dates from the file, or you can set a date here. I'm going to change the reference that's going to show on each transaction. I'm going to basically say it's a credit card transaction. And I'm going to call this import a sample import. That's going to be my batch. And again, if I needed to select from a different tab in the Excel spreadsheet, I could. So here I clicked on the preview button. This displays the payables transactions that I'm importing in. Again, a one, two, three, four, five, six columns. Uh, invoice date, vendor ID, invoice number, uh, preference, uh, reference, which is basically your note, and we're going to import this. And it's as simple as that. Your accounts payable transaction has been successfully imported. So now let's go ahead and check our AP transaction. Uh, we're going to go through batches. Remember, we saw only four batches when we started. Now, three, four, five batches, and there's our sample import. So I'm going to select our a batch of a 28 transaction uh, with about $104,000 or so. Okay, I'm going to go to the next transaction, and there it is. There's our note as a reference. Okay. And if I click on the distribution, we have our standard distributions, and these distributions come from the, um, the accounts come from the vendor master uh, or from your posting setup. So here uh, I have uh, purchasing account for each vendor as well as an accounts payable account. Again, they do not do not have to be here. They can be in the global posting account setup, and the system will pull this in. But if you want to define it by vendor, this is where you would define this. Let's go ahead and close it. Close the batch screen. Next, I'm going to take you to uh, the spreadsheet or to show you the actual Excel uh, spreadsheet uh, layout. So let's go ahead and expand this. If you notice, it's a fairly simple uh, spreadsheet. One, two, three, four, five, six columns. Uh, ID, vendor ID, invoice number, customer PO number, reference, some description for it. It'll trim it off if it's too big, and there's your amount. Okay. And we do check for duplicates. Um, we will check to see if this has already been imported into the system so that the same duplicate invoice doesn't come in for that particular vendor. And that's it. This, again, is a fixed format. Uh, so you'll have to, uh, prior to importing, make sure it meets this format or use this template to import it in. And again, just from transaction entry, additional, import, select the file, import. It's that easy. Uh, again, a straightforward solution, but uh, will gain a lot of productivity. Again, thank you for uh, taking time to watch. If you have any further questions, do not hesitate to visit uh, biztechnologiesonline.com or send an email to hello at biztechnologies.co.